Well, time to make the video that I have feared for quite a while, um, just from kind of understanding of the whole situation with the Bronco and that I'm probably not gonna have it till late fall. So let's dig into why this is happening. So I had joked that when I purchased this Bronco, this would probably be the only one I'd be getting this year. And while this thing is a ton of fun, I had really hoped to have a real one in my garage, my albeit messy garage. But unfortunately, that's not the case and it's not great information. So basically this morning, Ford sent out an announcement to, I think it's dealer groups and things like that. But of course it got leaked online because this is 2021. And basically it says that if your Bronco has a hard top, which mine does because it's a two door, it's required, you're not getting yours probably, honestly, any earlier than probably October. So what ended up happening was they had a lot of problems with the hard tops and you've probably seen this on the forums and stuff. And I mentioned it in my last video and I've kind of just been personally waiting since uh, July 2nd for my build and I just kind of wait the days and I'm like all right well whatever it'll it'll happen when it happens um, I was very fortunate to actually be able to talk to some people in map and get some updates on my build specifically knowing that the hardtop is what the problem was so as times marched on now it's August 12th I've been waiting over 30 days for an update and haven't really got anything Ford has announced that they are obviously aware of the hardtop issue those that have shipped and have taken delivery, there's going to be a recall. So definitely be on the lookout for that if you have a hard top. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a mandatory recall or voluntary, but you know, obviously check that out when it comes through. And then unfortunately for me, my Bronco is basically just stuck in purgatory, uh, sitting inside of a lot rotting, which brings me to a bigger problem. I don't want it. Why? Well, it's sitting in a lot. There's probably bugs and mice and all sorts of other nastiness happening with it. It's sitting out in the sun. I haven't been able to correct the paint or protect the paint. And honestly, it's just sitting out there not being driven and cars obviously do not like to sit and not be driven. So what should Ford be doing in this case? Honestly, they should be let reservation holders such as myself opt out of the build, give it to the dealership, let them sell it off of, you know, off the lot, and then give me a 2222 allocation exactly how I want it, which in theory means I might be able to get a two-door manual Sasquatch. I'm not holding hope with that only because I'm guessing what's gonna happen because I have a VIN is I'm gonna take delivery of this vehicle and I'm probably gonna have gremlins in it, which hopefully is not the case, but it's probably with all likelihood going to happen. So I don't create these videos to complain. I keep create these videos to update. And also I get a lot of questions from people asking me like, hey, where's your Bronco? Well, unfortunately it's not here. You know, my garage, like I said, we're cleaning it right now, but no Bronco, no Bronco outside. Uh, the Porsche's outside, but again, no Bronco. So kind of stinks, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna get too worried about it. Like I said, much bigger things occurring in the world. And, you know, in the grand scheme of things, this is a vehicle, it's not life or death. That being said, I will add one additional thing, and that's that Ford needs to work on their communication. So as of this morning, and uh, now it's, uh, what time is it? It's 11.20, I'm making this video. They have not sent out anything to reservation holders. They've simply just shown things online, and I think they posted something on their website. So Ford really needs to pick up the, um, you know, the communication with their customers because they're just creating a really bad experience. So I said the last video that I created was gonna be it for complaining about not getting my Bronco, but I felt that this was relevant because it's gonna be a couple months now. And I am super excited, however, that my buddy Tim and I are actually going to the Bronco off rodeo this coming Monday. So be on the lookout for that video. Uh, we're gonna definitely drive these things through the paces, see what's all about, and see if I'm either gonna fall in love with it, or maybe this is a blessing and I never wanted it to begin with. So be on the lookout for that video. So as always, appreciate you guys checking out these videos. I'm curious, have you heard anything from Ford? Did you get an email? Did you see what, you know, what I'm talking about here? What are your thoughts? Go ahead and leave them in the comments. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll catch you in the next video.